Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We are back with another adventure in Disc Creatures, a fun monster training game inspired by the Game Boy Classic. And that is what we do here. We show off great games that are the mingling of retro and modern, taking the best of modern gameplay graphics and controls and that sort of stuff that we've learned also pairing that with some great old games old inspirations and the like so unfortunately we have to start off this episode with some bad news i recorded two episodes of this and unfortunately there are not usable my microphone didn't work so i have an hour of gameplay with me saying absolutely nothing that may be a good thing it may also not be a good thing so here we are we are in pista port and i'm going to try to do my best to catch you up with what's happened in the last hour as we go on so we are in pista port there is a group of ruffigans that are taking these be baboos that is a disc creature a babu they are beating them up killing them basically when we fight we basically just knock the creature out and that's how we win they are beating them up to death beating them to death and they are taking their to tools they're taking their tears and selling them basically as a new cure all medicine type thing so they're really bad people really hurting disc creatures and we've got to stop them and that's where we are we are going into the apista grotto which is what we're heading towards right now in order to stop them unfortunately there's a lot of gameplay it's a little bit of grinding as well that I'm not being able to show you a cutscene or two. That's, yeah, unfortunately, that's what's happening. Here is the Pista Grotto. We're going to hop in here and see if we can catch up to them. We did a little bit of grinding. We also switched out a character, one of my disc creatures, to see if we could do something better. It didn't work out really well, so I'm going back, as you saw. I went back to the onion. This one two punch is still doing very good for us. So, at the worst, we're not. We didn't miss out on a lot. We missed out on a little bit of the story, a little bit of grinding, but I think we're okay. The story really is we came to Peace to Port. There's these people, really bad people, mistreating baboos, I think is probably how you would pronounce it. That It's that right there in the middle, that babu. They're taking them, harvesting their tears, and using them, using the tears to... They're basically snake oil salesmen. I don't know how many of you out there know that term, but it's when you take something that is not not useful at all and you sell it as a cure-all and that's basically what they're doing and we've got to stop them so we are heading on in the last episodes the last two episodes we kind of just sat in this area ground up a little bit i came into here with i think two level 20s and a 22 maybe or 21 i can't remember exactly what it was but we came in here and saw that they're like right at our level. So we did a little bit of grinding. I think we ended up fighting one discard, the one we just passed here. We'll show her back in just a minute. But that's kind of all we've did. There was another discard up a little bit further that I was a little worried about because of our levels and was kind of came back and forth through here and did some grinding. So that's pretty much where we are. This was the other disc, disc R we fought her. Not a lot has happened other than the storyline here. So we didn't really miss a lot. We missed a few battles, some good battles, some good experience, that sort of stuff. 
these one, two, three attacks still seem to be doing really good for me. Oh, I didn't realize that my Volta Gamma was so low. That's not good. The one, two, three, especially with the Volta Gamma, it, the electric attack, a lot of these are, we are in a water area. So the electric attacks are helping out very good. They're doing well in the damage on a lot of these. So we're doing well, we're leveling up well, and hopefully we'll be able to get through and get to this disc R just down the road and continue on with what we are trying to do. Hopefully we'll be able to catch up with them pretty soon and be able to stop them. And that's what I'm worried about here is trying to stop them. Let's heal him up a little bit. We don't need a whole lot here, I don't think. Just enough kind of to push him over so that he can get a little bit more health until he gets his level up. We're pretty close to his level up and we are... And you, you get your whole health back when you level up. So that is kind of... I was trying to, trying to just give him a little bit of a a safety net until he is able to get his full health back oh it looks like my onion is asleep that is the first time that i saw that maneuver which is interesting i'm assuming that the first guy did that he is the belmort is kind of a magic person and i'm gonna assume that he is the one that put my guy to sleep although it seemed that he did my onion attack I, it seemed to have attacked but I'm not a hundred percent sure there we're getting hit pretty hard here there's the metal scatter of the battle the the Brachatron another thing that I really like that we kind of went through is when we were gathering up all these discs I ended up loading up a bunch of discs so that and if we get back to the city I will show that we have a lot more disc creatures to show off we have gathered up a bunch and we have there it's looking pretty good we have a lot it's kind of neat to see the numbers fill in as you can see you get a little bit more as you go on I don't think I've seen any one of those the Chilmora or the we may have seen a claw daddy before and one of the really thing that i like always like about these monster training games is that the the use of the names and the use of the i mean you have to be very creative to get you know to make these new creatures to be able to design them and what they're doing i notice in this one in this game they're doing a lot of where you you know you put two give two words together like a bracketron bracketron is like a brachiosaurus plus tron of a robot and you put them together and i really like that it's kind of a a cool idea the claw daddy is kind of the same way it's just kind of neat the way they do these the, the names and I really like as well the designs of the creatures as well it's, it's pretty cool and I've really always been impressed with the creativity the developers must have as they are trying to do that I almost got a thousand experience points there that's pretty cool my Volta Gamma get went up we also got a, probably a few new moves in the those the episodes that i can't show or got messed up and but nothing that has been useful well i have what did i do my onion i think i did i added a plant oil was a new move that we added for my onion i don't think the crag chop was a move that we added for the Brachatron. And I believe the Rainbow Spark is a move that we used as well. 
we so we added a move to each one of those that is something just to kind of we'll probably use those when we get a chance and to show them off these two would be actually be a good plant oil and oh the crag drop is just a rock we also had a cannon move added for the bracketron but it wasn't something that i really liked it wasn't a useful in my opinion a useful ability it looked kind of weird and acted kind of weird and i wasn't sure exactly what it does and when a move's doing stuff that i'm not sure about not something that i really want to you know get into if it doesn't work out for me in the way i play within the first couple chances of using it then i'm I, I go on to something else and the reason why i caught crag drop is because it is a rock type attack where i have an air type and a metal type as well so it was kind of trying to balance him out a little bit but this again this one two three that we've been using for the the last several episodes has been extremely useful and extremely helpful so we're gonna stick with that i thought briefly about switching out one of my disc creatures but yeah i tried it i tried to level them up and when you're fighting level 20s with a number one it's a little bit difficult he goes up quick within a few fights we had him up to level 10 but it just it wasn't working well it was a water type in this mostly water type cavern it wasn't something that i found was going to be exceedingly helpful for me right now these guys are getting strong and they are doing well so far so i figured that it just should stick with these probably be my best bet that uh, hit my onion pretty hard and i know that the onion should be getting a level up soon i'm not too worried right now i don't i think the yeah the electric wave is going to knock him out but i would like to see where he's at because he's getting kind of low in the health department he still has 94 but he's he still has half of his health so we're gonna go on and see what we can do again the talus is a magic type it seems like magic and water types are the two main types in this area the electric attack the electric waves does really good on the water type so they usually drop out fairly quickly and seem to be getting paralyzed quite a bit too so we hopefully will be able to get through a lot of these fairly quickly yeah see the talus because it's a, not a water type and has that advantage the advantage that the electric on them he gets to survive a little bit farther a little bit longer there we go it wasn't too bad we got that onion to level up and he was able to fill his health in which is which is good and he learned a new move yay let's check out the moves really quickly and see if it's something there's an eye beam high critical rate it is a hmm it's another spirit attack so that would be quite a few with the poison wave and the oh no ivory attack is a grass type let's drop off this teardrop I haven't used that quite a bit and I think we're gonna pick up this I beam it is a damage B so that is good I'm I like that it seems that it's going to be getting more damage as we go I don't think the bracketron has gotten anything new that's going to be useful or that I want to be able to use that's that crash bomb that I talked about not it was weird it says deal, deals minor damage to every creature it seems almost like a thing that does a lot of damage to the enemy disc creature but then does an area of effect against your disc creatures 
so you'll hit them hard but you also lose a little bit health on yours it seemed to work that way i'm not 100 percent sure about that but it seemed to work that way so we got sandstorm hits all enemies can cause dark that's kind of neat i think we're going to try see at some point although burning claws of fire attack is good it is a damage d so we could go to fiery breath which well it's a damage e that's worse so or we can go to damage d it hits all enemies can counters so i think we're going to try that and see what that is that's odd to have a earth or is that, i think that's an earth earth attack with this fire electric type but we'll see what it goes see how it works out for us maybe that's going to be very useful we're probably not going to be using it right away because again the electric attack does so well against these water types it knocks them out really quickly so it doesn't seem advantageous to use that although i will try i beam here on you know what i should do try out i beam on this guy because i know that the electric tap is going to do really good on the other one so yeah electric wave is going to hit him hard because he's a water type see the neca two got most of his oh wow that went very good i like that and i like that graphics there too the little animation that was with that so we might stick with that although it hits one instead of the three i think with the other two hitting all three that's going to be really nice to be able to clear out some of those that are not water types like this one the porcupod that is the one that i tried out for a little bit it really didn't work out much for me so we are going to actually try the eye beam on it because it's a little bit of a rock type i think it'll still get hurt kind of with the electro wave but we'll kind of see how that all plays out it's probably wow yeah probably weak to electric it hurt them quite a bit so i've seen that adhesive a lot but i haven't really seen what it's done it affects my creatures in some way but i'm not exactly sure how it does it hasn't really stopped me from using any of the skills that i want to use so i'm just gonna keep at it we're just gonna keep on pushing through ah the nakatu that's just these are gonna go down and it's really nice that i have something that has the electric wave in it that's only kind of a chance that i was able to get that and be so good in this area of water types and i don't know if that has been the case really i don't feel that's been a case where one area at least so far it from my recollection and my memory it doesn't seem to be the case that the oh here we could shoot we could connect to the disc net where one area is predominantly one type so here we can see we've got quite a lot and it's really nice to see these pages fill in there's the dentine we were able to get one of those discs so it's really nice to to see these kind of fill in it just makes you feel that you know you're doing right you're doing good and it's you know progressing nicely so to speak so there's my page one which looks oh, that's page three uh looks pretty close to being full maybe three quarters fourth but then we're getting a bunch here with page two and as we go on to three and four this one looks kind of nice we were able to pick that one up the Ashura chin kind of looks like a nice one we might have to try out some other time uh, there of course there's our volta gamma but again leveling these up from level one is a little annoying yeah there's my porcupine we leveled him up to level 10 but it, like i said it wasn't really working out for us so i kind of moved on there i didn't mean to hit the vip there i was going to show i don't think i have anything on page five yeah no nothing there but i'm excited to see new creatures and coming up oh we did not heal there so we want to make sure that we healed while we're 
right here but it's nice to see these creatures come in and that disc charm really does help out in getting the new creatures i wonder if that big bad guy is in here or not there he is Donio, sheesh wouldn't hurt him to slow down some would it i might have to end up going through there were four in the group they might have to go and fight all of them along the way uh, that might be a little bit of a oh, what's going on ah look at you wimping out that disc kid like you mean it fine if a battle is what you want then a battle is what you get but boy i'm gonna beat you to a pulp once i'm done with your creatures so these guys are more about fist fighting than the traditional disc creature battle which yeah they're just mean all around oh there's some new one that megaton is a new one it is a metal attack i think i should be okay 23 is the high although we're going to be a little bit of a disadvantage here with him being a metal type i don't know if that's going to hurt us we're going to get that shuriken out fairly oh the the uh i did not know the metal was weak to electric as well that's kind of nice neither of them got poisoned which is not good but we should be yeah i was he was i figured he was going to be strong against metal so that went out really nicely let's go with our singles because i figured that our singles are going to be a little bit more damaging probably you know i should have threw that sandstorm out there i might try that again i don't he was let's try the rainbow spark because he was weak to electric so we want to take advantage wow we knocked him right out i got a thousand experience off that i think that's the most experience in a single battle that i have ever had no mercy huh? i'll tell you this though you better stay clear out of shuts way if you want to know what's good for you shuts is the leader of the gang that's beating up the disc creatures and again it's a physical beat em up they're not dueling they're not playing the game they're being right up straight up mean and beating them up a chaco molo i don't even know what that is i don't know if that's a disc creature or what this looks weird i saw a little was there it look oh they're going to be appearing and disappearing oh that's kind of cool a tongue pedal interesting that's uh oh wait we want to go ahead and do our three attacks i'm going to go ahead and switch over and try this sandstorm just to see what it does the the baboo's getting a pretty we're doing really good right now and well maybe not and i was thinking that we'd be okay if i switched over to the sand attack but yeah okay we still knocked it out as long as we knocked one out in the first round i'm okay not exactly the way i wanted to happen the sandstorm is obviously not as good as the electric wave was when you're fighting water types but it was kind of cool to see it, the the animation and you know to see it work that was kind of cool so we're gonna push on and i think we're in some kind of maze there is a little let's see if i can get over there and get that disc there i got 20 pico sweet i got all kinds of pico too it does appear that we are in kind of a maze but i would like to see maybe some more of these i want to get over to this one this bag bad one i'm just kind of curious what's in here maybe there is a oh cool a tersac maybe there is a cool disc or ability or something that we could find if we're looking over here maybe we could find something nice for us i guess but we should it looked like the tersec has dodged or something because it didn't get hit at all devastating blow sweet i kind of just want to pop up my head up here oh yeah my volta gamma sweet leveled up we're doing pretty well i mean we're going through here nicely it looks like i don't really see anything there's a sign over there but that's the way i came in i don't see anything major oh well there is something kind of 
maybe up in that corner. I wonder if I could sneak around really, eh, nothing. Okay, so there's nothing up here other than another uh, fight here. A sight, a Christa, Christango. That's another fun, like, crystal and tango combination, which I really like. I think we're gonna go through this fight, maybe squeeze in another one as we head on back down. But we're going to be ending the episode soon. Again, I got to apologize. I'm really sorry. I did not mean to mess up those videos, but there was about an hour of gameplay. I would say almost a half, one half hour was really playing, pushing forward. And the other half an hour was a lot of trying to get that porcupine leveled up. So really only a half an hour of gameplay was lost the real big thing that we lost unfortunately is the storyline and i'm sorry about that but the it just we kind of picked it up we know what's happening now but i'm yeah it really you know things happen and i'm really sorry about that but there was not much that i can do with you know what i have so we just got to push forward and i'll show you the rest as much as I can barring any other mistakes or what have you but we should be good to go from here on out I figured out the problem it was a microphone issue and we got it settled so a little disheartened that I recorded a couple episodes and they're gone but you know there's not much I can do about it we just gotta keep going forward here and there was a disc back there, a piece of equipment, a pop box. I do not know what that is. That's kind of cool. We're going to peek our nose into the next area just to see what it's like. And then we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This game's a lot of fun. I do recommend it. If I mean, if you like this, if you like RPGs, if you like monster training games i do suggest you check it out there is a link down in the descriptions thank you again and i will see you all next time bye everybody